Hi guys, I'm P from Doc Online Progress and in this video I have some great news to share with you that I hope you also find exciting. We officially became an FCC, in other words Doc Online Progress is a member of the Filmora Certified Creative Program. Many of you have sent us DMs on Instagram asking for tips on how to create videos for YouTube or other social media platforms. We usually use Filmora software to edit our content, so when Wondersir invited us to become a member of the team, we were over the moon, as it would also give us the chance to help you find your own way as content creators. But first thing first, what is Filmora used for? So for those who don't already know, Filmora is a powerful tool when it comes to editing a video. You can easily download the software from the official website and if you scroll down you'll find a lot of information about the different features included. As you can see, it's a trusted resource for creators all over the world but not only. It's a helpful and easy to use program for everyone who wants to create a video for personal or academic use. It's available a desktop version for Windows and Mac, an iPad version and a mobile app for Android and iOS. After you install and launch the program, you will see the main screen with all the features. If you are not a very high-tech person like me at the beginning of our YouTube channel, you may feel a bit lost and overwhelmed, but trust me, after you get a closer look, you'll see that it's a very user-friendly software, and don't forget, I'll be here to guide you on your first steps. If you click on the My Media tab, you will see a list where you can find all your media files for a project different themes and templates. Here you can drop or import the video clips, images and audio files you will need for your video. At the right of the main screen you'll see a preview player of the clips imported and not only. At the bottom half of the screen you have your main workspace where you drag the video and audio files you want to use. This is also a space where you add titles, text and effects in order to make your content more appealing and engaging to viewers. In our next video, you will see how easily you can add your clips, make changes and complete quickly a project. Next, it's the Stock Media tab, where you may choose between so many pixels, giphy and unsplash videos and photos that you can add in your content. Right after it, there is the Audio tab, where you find all the Filmora's audio default and Filmstock files. We'll talk more about Filmstock in the next video, so stay tuned. There are so many options, so I think it's hard not to find a perfect background music for your video. The Titles tab gives power to your words, as you can add comments, quotes, subtitles and text on your clips. There are so many different fonts to choose from and also cute animations that they will definitely add an interesting vibe to your project. Here are a few examples. The Transition tab is one of the most helpful features that you can use if you like a smoother cut from one click to another. Using the Transition, you will add a cool effect between media files and your project will result more stylish. The Effects tab will boost your creativity and will transform the editing process a fun experience. As you can see, Filmora provides various kinds of effects in order to create a more cinematic and technological video.
Last but not least, we have the split screen tab, where you can choose from more than 30 layouts and have different videos playing simultaneously within the screen. If you are interested in Filmora software, don't forget to check out the info box where you'll find a download link kindly provided by Filmora. Big thanks to Wondershare Filmora for sponsoring this video, to Wendy and the rest of the team for the support and the warm welcome. Stay tuned guys for our next tutorial on how to import, edit and export the video with Filmora software. Thank you for watching and if you like this beginner guide, give us a thumbs up. Bye!